everybody, what's up? I have a new mascara here from Positions Formula. It's called the Eye Booster Instant Lash Extension Kit. And I've really been into falsies lately. I've been loving these ones by Morph, and they're the number 43, they're $2. This comes with two mascaras. It says it has a regular mascara right here, and then this side, the little mini one, is the part that's supposed to extend your lashes. And it says, warning, life-changing DIY lash extensions. It says, for step one, sweep the lash boosting mascara prep for fibers and layer on lash boosting ingredients okay so this is a fiber thing I'm I don't know what to do like I've never really tried fiber kind of mascaras so hopefully it works out number two extensions gently tap extension brush to release any excess brush on extensions to upper lashes while mascara is still wet to build lashes and then step three reapply the mascara to seal and set the extension so that's it it doesn't seem too hard and it says it gives you 100% instant results. 100% um, of people saw the most dramatic lash effect ever experienced with a mascara. So I thought that was a pretty cool concept. So here's what they look like. They come packaged in this plastic. This one, the big one, is the mascara. And then this is the extensions. And it has it labeled on here. So just in case, like, you forget, it says mascara. And then this one says extensions on it. And here's what the mascara wand looks like. It's a traditional bristle brush. It looks like it has a little bit of a curve to it. Not much. It's just a slight curve and it's quite long too So I feel like it really, you know, hopefully this really works and then I want to show you guys the extensions one just before I get into application and ooh, Oh my god, did you guys see that? I just got I didn't know it had like hairy little fibers everywhere Oh my god, I just spilled fibery. Oh my god and so be careful when you open this <laughs> lesson learned there this has tons of fuzzy little it looks like a caterpillar like or a mustache for now let's just start with the mascara okay it kind of feels dry here so I did quite a few coats and it really doesn't really lengthen or anything it's barely even coating my lashes because of how dry this formula feels. And I have to work quickly here because this says to brush these on while still wet. So I'm going to tap off the excess because it says tap off excess, which is really hard to do without making a mess, by the way. Mascara is still wet here, and I'm just going to start brushing on these little... Oh my god, it is getting everywhere. Okay, I can see little black fuzzy things falling on my face, so I will brush that off after. Okay, I'm going to stop there because I think it's looking not so hot anymore. Okay, look at all this crap I got over my face. I'm just going to brush that off really quick. Okay, so this is really odd. I'm just I'm just going to say it. I don't like this. I can already tell now. This didn't really do much at all, especially it just made a big mess, really. Um, it was a little bit lengthening, but I don't really feel like it was amazing. I mean, like, these don't look like false lashes. Like, I mean, they really don't. Let's just be honest. So the whole lash extension thing really is kind of gimmicky to be honest and then it says repeat for life-changing lashes so it says to reapply lash boosting mascara to seal the little fuzzy things i really don't want to apply it again because i feel like that's going to clump it up but just because that's what it says to do i'm going to listen to their instructions okay actually i feel like this is this step is giving me the most length right here by reapplying the mascara but it does start to look clumpy. Well, it's not that bad, but it just starts to look a little spidery. So I'm going to stop there. I think that added a little tiny bit more length. But it, once again, it does not look like false lashes or lash extensions. It just doesn't. Let's just be real here. Just a tip for you guys who try this. Stippling brushes work amazingly well to remove little fuzzy things off your face. All right, so final thoughts. Do not try this unless you are willing to really take your time. I mean, like, you're gonna wanna have at least 10 minutes to apply this mascara. I'm not even kidding you guys because it's messy. It makes a mess everywhere. It, you know, the fibers fall out all over your face and I'm not exaggerating here. Like, I was trying to be very careful with this. Even when you're just applying it to your lashes, it just falls everywhere and it gets, it just clings onto your cheekbones especially. Like, just be 
be careful with this if you do buy it and if you do think this may sound interesting to you just be very slow with it I mean really take your time with this product um, personally I don't have time for this every day like ain't nobody got time to apply one mascara and then go over it with these little fuzz things that like go everywhere and then apply it again I think this is really time consuming and it's not practical it just isn't practical honestly I think it's quicker to apply false lashes like I've really been into falsies lately and it takes me like two minutes for the glue to dry for them to set for me to apply my mascara and go and that gives me way better results I mean I really don't think this is life-changing or whatever they said life-changing they said it's a warning you know putting a warning on it like I fell for this gimmick so I hope you guys don't fall for it because I just do not recommend this is probably one of the worst mascaras I've tried in a long time and I've been trying a lot of mascaras lately but this one was just yikes so that's really all I have to say for this product I kind of feel bad giving it such a bad review but I didn't like it and I just wouldn't recommend it just because of the awful experience with these fibers like I don't know what I was thinking buying this but I I mean they don't say it looks messy on here you know the little fiber wand looks perfectly clean and you know it just is too much of a hassle for me so I'm gonna pass and I wouldn't recommend this to anyone um, I definitely would recommend their original organic wear on mascara or I mean any other mascara really I would recommend. Can't wait to hear from you guys and as always thank you so much for watching.